healthy parents don't cling on to their kids healthy parent don't you know manipulate and you know uh, gaslight their kid yeah so that the kid is all the time you know around them healthy parents don't do that they know that they have a role you know to play uh, for a specific period till the time the kid is not grown till the time you know the kid is not independent they have to nourish they have to support encourage motivate and that's it once the you know kid grows up to be an adult they can follow their own Hello. everyone i hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves so today i'm going to talk about how do narcissistic parents react when their kids are successful or when their kids are not so successful yeah we are going to try and navigate that and before i get going i would request you all to like share subscribe the channel hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content so narcissistic parents have extreme sense of entitlement and uh, you know they hate uh, you know taking accountability and responsibility for their bad action and behavior they genuinely believe that they are perfect they know it all and that's it the entire universe you know should learn from them narcissistic uh, individuals of course in this case narcissistic parents uh, hate being criticized yeah and uh, this is because uh, you know uh, any kind of error uh, wrongdoing or any kind of criticism even though if it is a constructive criticism uh, is seen in a very bad light yeah narcissistic uh, parents uh, don't like being criticized they have this strong belief on the inside that they are perfect they are the epitome of perfection change error flaw to learn new thing is for you know the inferior ones the flawed ones they have reached you know that level of perfection and that's it now the entire world their kids everyone around them should learn from them yeah narcissistic parents have extreme hunger and craving for attention admiration narcissistic parents survive on external validation yeah they expect their kids to admire them they expect uh, you know people around them to admire them keep appreciating them and keep telling them how amazing they are how much they know i know it sounds funny i mean the things that they expect uh, out of the others is you know very uh, close or similar to what uh, an 8 year old expects yeah all that attention otherwise they are going to throw fit they are going to you know um, misbehave they are going to act crazy so you know narcissistic uh, individuals uh, are like uh, you know 8 year old in an adult body yeah you can't expect them to think behave and function like a mature healthy individual we know narcissistic personality disorder is a kind of a mental health condition yeah so narcissistic parents you know don't see their kids as separate individuals they view their kids as an extension yeah of themselves and they want their kids to be super perfect even though they are not perfect even though they are you know um, not that great but you know all of those unrealistic expectations are pushed onto the shoulders of their children so the kid has to bring in good name the kid has to bring in you know uh, financial abundance the kid has to you know uh bring in glory yeah so the kid is burdened with uh, unrealistic uh, you know stupid expectations i would say uh, a healthy parent just wants their kid to be happy independent do whatever they want and you know uh, be happy in their life a healthy parent uh, you know uh, doesn't manipulate their kid or doesn't you know exploit their children they know that after some time the kid is going to grow and the kid is going to you know um, follow their own path in life so healthy parents uh, you know don't do a number they know that uh, they wanted a child they bring in a child they do the best they can to raise them and then they know that once they grow up they will leave yeah they will have their own life family they will start their family they will choose a career path or whatever they want to do so healthy parents don't cling on to their kids healthy parent don't you know manipulate and you know uh, gaslight their kid yeah so that the kid is all the time you know around them healthy parents don't do that they know that they have a role 
you know, to play uh, for a specific period till the time the kid is not grown, till the time, you know, the kid is not independent. They have to nourish, they have to support, encourage, motivate, and that's it. Once the, you know, kid grows up to be an adult, they can follow their own path. But in a narcissistic family, when we look at narcissistic parents, uh, they get married for a reason, yeah, so that they can get their narcissistic supply. They breed for a reason, yeah, because they want unpaid labor with same genetic makeup. So, you know, they are nowhere close to healthy parents, yeah. Healthy individuals, you know, do things selflessly. Healthy individuals don't keep a tab of the things they are doing for their kids or for their partner. They do the best they can for their kids and, you know, their partner, husband, wife, whatever it is. So, you know, narcissistic parents are very opposite, yeah? They will do the bare minimum and they will expect huge return. Marriage, children is like a retirement plan for narcissistic parents, yeah? Um, the partner is going to serve me, validate me, give me any kind of feedback, whether it is negative or positive. The kids are going to, you know, respect me, honor me, do my bidding, and that's it. This is what fuels the narcissist's ego, and the narcissist feel good. I mean, we know that on the inside, narcissists don't feel good. They feel miserable. If a person feels good, they really don't have to walk the path of, you know, manipulating millions and withholding facts and misconstruing things. They don't have to get into that. They are happy and, you know, satiated with whatever they have. They are happy, you know, wherever they are. Yeah. So for a healthy individual, happiness is like a choice. But when we look at narcissistic individuals, you know, they, you know, put the responsibility of keeping them happy on their children and spouse. Now I have bred you, I have raised you, now you have to do anything and everything to keep me happy. I am married to you, now you have to take the responsibility of my happiness. Yeah, so, you know, narcissists uh, are sick individuals, I mean, in, in simple terms. Uh, they are sick individuals and, you know, they just want others to do things for them. And, you know, they should be on the receiving end and they should enjoy, uh, you know, all the perks of a relationship, being a parent, uh, even though their contribution is bare minimum. But they expect huge return, yeah? And they will go to any extent to manipulate you, gaslight you, yeah? Do all sorts of nasty stuff to keep their children on hook. Now... Narcissistic parents pressurize their kids, you know, to look a certain way, to do, you know, things a certain way, to behave a certain way. Narcissistic parents don't want their kids to be authentic. Authenticity is like a red flag in a narcissistic family. So if you try and be authentic, you will be shamed, you will be guilt tripped, you will be minimized, you will be antagonized, invalidated, people are going to do number on you. The flying monkeys would be summoned and they are going to further, you know, manipulate you and you know, torment you, that you should not do things your way. Um, you should remember what your mother has done. You should remember what your father has done. You are never going to be able to repay what your mother has done and father has done. Uh, in these narcissistic ecosystem and families, we get to hear these kind of, you know, statements. Yeah, you can never repay your mother. You can never repay your father. Why the hell do we have to repay them? Did they do things so that we can grow up and repay them? Was it a transactional, you know, stuff? I mean, they bred us uh, for a reason and now they want to, uh, you know, pay back. I mean, so, you know, uh, it's it's very distorted. It's not like normal, healthy family. Yeah. So the narcissistic parents are going to summon their flying monkeys and enablers whenever they see you being authentic. Authentic means you are not, uh, you know, uh, abiding by their rules. Yeah. Uh, being authentic means you might, uh, you know, pursue your own freedom. Being authentic means you might, you know, uh, take uh, your autonomy. Being authentic means you might just not, uh, you know, say yes to anything and everything. Yeah, so the narcissist is not going to entertain you to be authentic. Narcissistic parents are going to shame you. They are going to train you to shape shift and be the version that serves them. Be the version that is 100% devoted to them. Who keeps bowing at them yes mom yes dad they want you to keep you know thanking them daddy i'm so lucky 
to have you as my father. Mother, I'm so lucky to have you as my mother. You have done so much. I am indebted to you. They want, you know, these kind of feedback and response from their children. But they are never going to tell their children that I am so happy, yeah, that you are my son. I am so happy that you are my daughter. So it's just one way. They want things out of you, but they don't want to give anything to you. Yeah, so you know it's a, it's a very transactional, instrumental, and conditional kind of a relationship. Yeah, they are going to withhold all that love and affection if they see that you're doing things your way. Yeah, they are going to use their love and affection as a bargaining chip. Yeah, if you do things my way, I'm going to love you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to make you feel home. But if you don't do things my way, it will be absolutely silent. I'll ignore you. Yeah, and then. You know, that, you know, uh, entire feeling, you know, when you uh, are treated with silent treatment, that feeling is horrible. We want to be connected to our caregivers, our parents, yeah? But when they stop talking to us, it makes us anxious. We are scared of losing them, yeah? We, uh, you know, don't feel good at all. And uh, this is what, uh, you know, they use to control us. I mean, narcissistic parents use to control their children. So if the kid is successful, the narcissistic parents are going to take all the credit. Well, see, me treating you like shit got you where you are now. Yeah. Or, or let me just, uh, you know, simplify it. So they're going to treat you horribly. They're going to do bare minimum for you. And then, of course, they expect huge returns. And if you are able to, you know, become successful or if you reach somewhere with your own hard work and effort, they are immediately going to take the credit. Yeah. And they're going to flaunt and they're going to brag about it in front of the others. Yeah. My son is this. My son is that. Though they did bare minimum. Yeah. And they treated you miserably. They treated you like shit. But they are going to, you know, take the credit when you become successful or when you do good. They are going to take all that credit and they are going to gaslight you and they are going to make you believe that only because they treated you like shit. See where you are. You are successful because they treated you like shit. Yeah. So that is, uh, you know, uh, how sick it gets. I know. I mean, nobody wants to be treated like shit. Nobody wants to be, you know, treated the way how narcissistic parents or individuals treat their, you know, uh, partners, nobody wants uh, such kind of treatment, passive aggressive behavior, constantly being manipulated, gaslit, minimized, invalidated, yeah, shamed, guilt trip. Nobody wants all of that. But the narcissistic parent is going to, you know, tell you that only because I treated you that way, see where you are. Yeah, so they are not going to, you know, take accountability or responsibility for their bad behavior. They are going to, you know, um, very smoothly and easily forget yeah or you can say uh, you can witness this uh, selective amnesia yeah they're going to just remember the tiny bits they have done for you the bare minimum basic things they have done for you and that's it all that bad stuff they are going to forget yeah um, blame it onto the others or blame it onto you yeah so narcissistic parents are going to take the credit when you become successful, even though if they do bare minimum, even though if they keep abusing you, torment you, harass you, exploit you, they will take all that credit and they will tell you only because I treated you the way I treated you, you have reached here, you have become successful. Yeah, and then narcissistic parents are going to brag about your success in front of the others. Look where my son is. Look where my daughter is. It's all because of my hard work. It's all because of my effort. It's all because of my dedicated input and effort and everything. Yeah, so that is, you know, one side of the coin. The other side is when they see that you are not doing good, you are not... Uh, uh, financially in a good position or you're not uh, in a good job or you are going through hardships or you are you know um, not doing that well then they are going to start blaming you they are not going to brag about you in front of the others in front of the others they are going to lie about you well yeah she's busy he's doing this she's doing that you know they really don't want to you know um uh, uh 
so narcissistic parents are not going to you know encourage you motivate you and push you to do better to evolve and to grow we all learn from our mistakes but uh, there is no room for mistakes uh, in a narcissistic relationship so the narcissistic parent is not going to motivate you encourage you to learn from your mistakes and they are going to be next to you uh, they are not going to be there uh, and in front of the others they are going to you know tell lies that you are there you are doing this you are doing that they are not going to you know talk about uh, the challenges that you are facing they just want to present and portray a very good picture in front of the others you need to understand because they survive on validation external feedback and validation is like oxygen for these narcissistic individuals so they are not going to talk about your hardship to the others everyone goes through hardship and there is no shame in talking about it your hardships your mistakes makes you stronger but narcissistic parents you know feel ashamed yeah to talk about your hardship in front of the others yeah they will not talk about it they are going to lie about things yeah that you are busy in this you are doing this you are very well off because they see you as an extension of themselves and they cannot you know accept that you might go through ups and downs you might not be you know the way they expect yeah five fingers are not the same so how can we expect everyone to be like us yeah i might be good in something and my child might not be good in something yeah how can i expect my child to be a clone yeah everyone is different everyone is unique my child might be good in something which i am horrible in yeah so the narcissistic parents you know uh, are ashamed to talk about your hardship your you know challenges your failures they won't talk about that yeah they they see it as a, a kind of a you know a blunder they see it as uh, something uh, which is very bad and they should just hide it conceal it fabricate it withhold it and not talk about it so they are going to cook up story and present it in their circle that you are doing very good and this and that and this is basically to maintain that uh, image yeah and uh, you know appear to be someone who's good yeah they will lie they will withhold facts they will manipulate they will do all sorts of things yeah to keep that uh, you know image intact yeah they don't want it to crumble yeah because their entire facade that they build around themselves is based on lies withholding facts yeah so anything honest anything real is going to make uh, you know that castle crumble yeah so they don't uh, do that now how do they treat their kids when they see that their kids are not that successful when their kids are not uh, you know uh, up to the mark as per them what do they do they keep minimizing their kids they keep gaslighting their kids they keep comparing their kids i have spent so much on you and look where you are horrible you just don't care about our family name and honor i have spent so much money i went out of this way i went out of that way i did this i did that i went out of the way to you know bring things on the table to pay your tuition fee and look you are unable to score good marks they are going to you know keep a track of everything and keep you reminded yeah they are going to make you feel guilty yeah if if you are not performing good or if you are not doing good in life they are going to you know not hesitate in you know shaming you and guilt tripping you yeah they will compare you with others children look at their father their father doesn't do much but still see the kids are so successful and me after doing so much for my children all of you are a waste yeah my money is gone to waste and my energy is gone to waste and i don't know how will i face the others how will i face the world how will i face the society you are a failure yeah so they are going to shame you vehemently criticize you uh, belittle you invalidate you guilt trip you gaslight you you know they will try anything and everything yeah uh, to fix you i mean they want you to perform good they want you to become the best so that they can bag in all that credit yeah they can bag in the good name validation. they can bag in good validation and appreciation so, so their intention and goal is that you become the best yeah the way they expect they cannot fathom they cannot expect anything 
out of the box. Yeah, they want you in a certain way. They want you to become the best by walking the path they have decided for you. Yeah, they don't want you to walk any other path. They want you to simply do what they want you to do and excel in whatever they want you to get into. Yeah. So narcissistic parents, you know, want you to excel, want you to, you know, uh, do good. I mean, uh, as per them, not in your own unique way. So if you are very creative and if you, you know, excel in some creative field or if you are a sportsman and if you become a good sportsman, they are not going to appreciate that. For them, it will still be, you know, worthless and useless, even though you are really doing good in what you're doing. But uh, that is something which they did not plan for you. They want you to excel into whatever they have planned for you. Yeah. So if they expect you to be an engineer and if you become a designer, you are a disgrace. You are not good enough. If you become an actor and if you, you know, uh, were expected to be a doctor, you are not good enough. But if you become super famous and super rich, then they will accept you. Then they will use you to bag in more compliments, then they will use you to bag in more appreciation, admiration and validation from the others. Yeah. But these narcissistic parents are never going to tell you that you have done really good. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, they are going to say, okay, whatever you're doing, it's okay. But outside, they are going to use you and, uh, you know, use your fame and money to bag in some admiration and validation. But uh, when they are with you, they are not going to, you know, 100% uh, validate you. They'll keep throwing tiny bit of crumbs, yeah. They're going to, you know, uh, tell you it's okay. But uh, if you would have had tried or if you would have had worked hard, you could have been a better doctor. Uh, being doctor is nowhere close to being an artist. Of course, being a doctor is more respectable in the society, yeah. So they are going to forever make you feel that you're not good enough yeah even if you do things their way and if you excel or if you do things your way and if you don't excel if you face hardship they are going to keep making you feel that you're not good enough and the reason behind this is to keep you on hope for long yeah if they are going to positively validate you you might become independent if they are going to positively you know validate your achievement and everything you you might grow out of them yeah you might uh, you know uh, take back all that control and autonomy and might start uh, your own independent life yeah. you might just not be in their control anymore yeah so they you know withhold all of those stuff in a healthy family in healthy relation you know, we do validate. If someone does good, we do, you know, laud them. We do tell them, wow, this is so good. And you can do more. You can do more. You are the best in what you do. We, we talk like this in a healthy setup. But in narcissistic families, you know, the entire agenda is to uh, keep their kids as slaves. Yeah. The entire objective behind breeding bringing in a new life is to keep them loyal and keep them on hook till the time the narcissist is alive yeah so the kid is created to serve the narcissistic parents yeah and not have their own life so no matter where the kid reaches no matter what the kid achieves or no matter what the kid goes through the kid is never appreciated yeah the entire credit is taken by the narcissistic parents even if you succeed and do good they are going to tell you well i treated you like shit you you found that i was treating you like shit but that was the right way i treated you the right way and look where you are you're successful so the entire credit goes to me i'm your mother i'm your father yeah and if you don't do good they are going to keep on guilt tripping you going to keep on shaming you they will keep on comparing you with the others so, you know, it's, it's, it's not healthy, yeah? 
So with them, you will always feel, you know, half of yourself or maybe one fourth of yourself. You will never feel complete yeah, because they will keep on pinpointing your weaknesses. They will keep on gaslighting you. They will keep on manipulating you. You would never really feel confident when you are, you know, um, with your narcissistic parents. And this is because they fear losing you. They fear losing control over you. They don't want you to outgrow. They don't want you to become independent. Yeah. So whether you are a failure, whether you are a success, they want you to be hooked on to them. They want you to be on leash till the time they are there. Yeah. Also, uh, when you fail or when you don't do good, yeah, in some of the cases, you know, we go through a rough phase. We do a lot of mistakes and we learn from our mistakes. And, you know, uh, there is no fixed time. Yeah. I mean, uh, I did wake up from my slumber at uh, the age of 30. Yeah. And before that, I was just, you know, somehow trying to cope, manage, survive. So, you know, uh, there is no fixed age. Yeah. And uh, not one rule works for all. Yeah. So everyone starts and, you know, moves ahead in life in their own unique way. But if you are with a narcissist, they want to lay out everything, the guidelines, the do's and don'ts and the laws that you have to follow. And that's it. And if you go off beat, off track, you know what happens next. So in some of the cases, when the kids are going through hardship, a rough phase, or they are still exploring themselves or unable to, you know, be their best version. I mean, you don't become your best version, you know, after you are born. It takes time. You learn, learn, make mistakes. You learn again. You become experienced. And then, you know, you start working on yourself. Yeah. And that's how you, you know, become the better version. You, you become a best version of yourself. Yeah, it's, it's not that you were born and the second day you have become the best version of yourself. It takes time. Yeah, it's a gradual process. So we learn, you know, learning and becoming a better version of yourself is a gradual process. It doesn't happen overnight that you are born and then you have become the best version. You, you are destined to become the best version. No, you know... Uh, you know, we learn a lot of things and, you know, our awakening can happen at any time. There is no fixed time that, uh, you know, we will be doing this or we will be reaching here or we will be reaching there. But uh, in narcissistic families, there is a lot of pressure. So, so some of the kids, you know, they grow, you know, uh, at a slow pace. They learn things in their own way. Not everyone is same. So when narcissistic parents see that their kid is not able to, you know, bring more things on their table, narcissistic parents won't hesitate in even discarding that child. They will, you know, subtly, indirectly make the child feel as if you are not needed, you're worthless. Yeah. And the child can do whatever he or she wants. Yeah. So, you know, the entire goal is to make the child understand that uh, you are of no use to me and you're not bringing anything on the table so you can take a leave but the narcissistic parents want to you know maintain a good image good parent image yeah so they're not going to tell this directly to the child they're going to indirectly make the child feel that you know they are not needed they are going to admire and appreciate the other child the other sibling yeah and they are going to keep scapegoating the other one, the one who is not doing so well. Uh, they will keep on comparing that child with the other child who is doing a little bit better. Yeah, so in a narcissistic uh, family, narcissistic parents, you know, make this sibling relationship like a competition. Yeah, so you are not, uh, you know, there to love your sibling. You grow up seeing your sibling you know, as a competition that she gets more love than me, he gets more love than me, I need to do more. Yeah, so this is, you know, the strategy that the narcissists use, yeah, to make you, you know, do what they want. Yeah, so, you know, the narcissistic parents are going to, you know, uh, discard you, uh, not 
physically they will never you know paint their hands red they will never want you know to get their hands dirty they will make you feel as if you are not needed you are good for nothing and you can take your leave but after you go they are going to make it look as if you were the bad one they are going to make it look as if you were the one you know who never listens to them they are not going to you know tell others that they made you feel that way and you left the house yeah they are not going to do that so they are going to protect their image that they project the false facade that they built and they are going to then shift the blame on to you she left because she never listened to me i did so much i sacrificed so much but she did not listen to me my son was horrible i did so much i sacrificed so much and look he has just left us i'm just you know alone with my daughter i'm just alone with my son so they are going to you know compel you they are going to insinuate you yeah to do the thing yeah and when you do it when you move out or go or go no contact then they are going to do a number on you behind your back they breed you know to get things that's it whether it is money glory good name fame uh validation feedback and uh, you know cheap unpaid laborer that's all they are not you know uh, like the healthy parents who start a family who choose to become parents and feel responsible and do everything in their capacity to help their kid grow and evolve and become independent that's not the goal and mission of narcissistic parents they bred you for a reason if you don't do things their way they are going to do a number on you if they see that you are not fit and you are not up to the mark yeah they are going to discard you or at least uh, uh, make you feel as if you are not wanted and then you can just take a leave yeah but the moment they see you are rising you are doing good some way or the other they are going to take the credit yeah they are going to tell you well i treated you like shit i treated you miserably and see the result now you are successful so they are horrible individuals i, I mean uh, i feel that you know every parent should be you know psychologically evaluated before they you know um, you know pursue parenthood they should be psychologically evaluated because such parents narcissistic parents you know are horrible parents and i don't think they should be allowed you know to be parent because they really ruin right. they really ruin their partners life spouses life and they really ruin their kids life yeah. and and let me tell you a narcissistic parents might compel you to leave indirectly you know uh, make you feel that you are not worthy and in some of the extreme cases they will you know legally discard you as well they will disown you and i am an example when i started being myself when i started doing things my way i started working i started earning i started becoming independent uh my narcissistic parent you know my narcissistic father was unable to handle all of that how can my child you know do things uh, uh her way how can my child uh, do things uh, you know which i don't approve of how can my child survive uh, you know without you know reaching out to me and asking for help how can my child survive you know after me confiscating all that support yeah so it was it was like a very big uh, ego injury for my father and my father you know legally disowned me so so yes uh, narcissistic parents uh, some of them they don't want to get their hands dirty so they might uh, indirectly tell you that you are not needed but some of the grandiose ones some of the malignant grandiose ones they really don't care yeah they will do anything to you know exhibit or show who the powerful one is in the relationship and that's what happened with me i was legally disowned by my father my own biological father yeah just because i wanted to you know uh do things my way that was something that was not uh, you know acceptable for him he had already planned what i 
was supposed to do and what I was not supposed to do. Yeah, what I was supposed to follow and what I was, you know, not supposed to follow. So everything was already planned before. And uh, me becoming independent, me doing things my way was a narcissistic injury, was something which was very painful for him. So the last thing, you know, that he had up his sleeves was to legally disown me. Yeah, and to show who the powerful person is in the relationship. It didn't really matter to me. For some time, I did feel um, bad. But uh, if a parent can go to that extent, uh, that parent was never fit to be a parent. So with time, with experience, I you know, have this realization and understanding that uh, if a parent abuses you, if a parent discards you, if a parent disowns you, if a parent beats you and does all sorts of horrible things, uh, it's very simple and clear that that person isn't supposed to be a parent. Yeah. So me uh, being disowned by my father, you know, was a little painful. It took a while for me to process. But uh, now I believe or you can say now I personally feel that he wasn't, you know, meant to be a father. Yeah, a father is much more than, you know, all of these stupid things, doing number, having this contemptuousness and vindictiveness against their own child. Um, this is not, uh, you know, right. And, you know, uh, such individuals shouldn't be allowed to become parents because then they ruin their kid's life. Yeah. I mean, I became independent, I moved on, um, I started uh, my own family. So, you know, uh, it, it was a lesson for me. I, I don't say that all parents are bad. Parenting is a very wonderful thing. If you, if you have emotionally regulated parents, if you have, you know, sane parents with uh, no personality disorder, you are blessed. Yeah, your parents are like your friend. They are going to be there through thick and thin. But all these, uh, you know, parents suffering from mental health conditions, personality disorders, uh, they shouldn't be allowed in the first place to, you know, procreate or reproduce because uh, they are going to, you know, uh, create more problem for the children. Yeah. So that's it. In case if you would like to add in something, you can always comment below. Till then, take care of yourself and don't ignore the red flags and prioritize your own self before anything and everything. Yeah, bye.